Today I want to take a look at some different knife slips and what kind of knives that they take. I spent some time over the weekend trying to improve the design of the average knife slip. So the first knife slip that I got was this one here made by C. Reisner at traditionalpocketknives.com. This is a fold over slip with the corners cut out, sewn along each edge and rounded over at the top. It fits a full size stockman with no, no problem at all. It comes almost to the edge. Now my first slips that I made were copied off of this style. I used the cutouts because the, the cutouts on the bottom allow the slip to expand as you squeeze it. So in order to get the knife out, all you have to do is give a gentle squeeze, which I really like that design. But it does have a few shortcomings. When you put this in your pocket, since it's rounded, it wants to fall over. Now, a lot of times I wear cargo pants, which have what I call a magazine pocket, and that's perfect for a knife slip. So that's the first style, and it's sized for a stockman. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is one of the slips that I made. It uses the same cut corners at the bottom, although I rounded them instead of making them square. And I did a slight round on the top with a flap that's cut. This does the same thing. It also holds a full size stockman. And if we look at them, they're the same height. These two are the same size as each other. This slip is slightly wider because I had a few knives with wider blades and this will accommodate them. But again, I did make the flat a little bit bigger than what was on the C. Reisner, but it'll still fall over in your pocket. Next, I have this slip here from J.O. Ventures Outdoors. This is a beautiful slip. He did a really nice job on this. Now, one of the things that this has is a leather sheen on it. So it's like a clear coat. So it's very smooth on the outside and it's quite slippery. What I have in here right now is a Sodbuster. So it's a Sodbuster Junior. And if you take a look, that slip is also the same length. So all these slips are the same length as each other. So that one's sized for a Sodbuster. But you can see there is a difference here in the construction. This says stitching across the bottom. With stitching across the bottom, it limits the length, it limits how long of a knife the slip will hold. This style the bottom can expand. So when you put a knife in here, that knife goes, that knife is all the way at the very bottom of the slip. This style slip with the fold over, I mean, these are, this slip is gorgeous, but this style slip, the knife can't go to the bottom because it's squeezed here because it's sewn together. So you don't have quite the full height of the slip available. It lets you make a narrower slip because you have a fold over instead of another row of stitching. But as you can see, the Sodbuster Junior comes almost to the end of that slip. If I stick it in here, you can see how it's buried. And that's two slips of identical height. So there is an advantage to this style. It's wider, but shorter to hold the same knife. This is a slip that was gift, gifted to me by Randy's WSG. I keep a pencil in here, and then right now I have a small stockman in here. We're also looking at the same height slip. If I put a stockman in here, look how much of that bolster sticks out. If I put a stockman in here, it's completely buried. Or if I put one in here, that's completely buried. So there is an advantage, which you can see, in having a slip that's not sewn on the bottom. So what was starting this all off is this Jack Wolf slip, which just, just looks elegant, it's small, it's sleek, it's all rounded. But because it's rounded on the bottom, it also will guaranteed it's going to fall over in your pocket. Let's try the Sodbuster Junior. 
Sidebuster Jr. fits in there just fine with a little bit left over. Which the Sidebuster Jr. is about the same height as this Jack Wolf knife. Now, let's see for comparison. Same height. But will it hold something larger? Will it hold a trapper, for instance? No, that will not hold a trapper. I'm choosing a slimline trapper here for a reason, so it can go in any of these. See, it will not fit in this one either. Will it fit in here? No problem. Will it fit in this? No problem. So, the challenge was to come up with a slip that's closer to this Jack Wolf slip than any of these and closer in size because as you can see even though they're the same length it's quite a bit narrower and I do like the rounded top so to come up with a slip that's this size that'll hold any of these knives and this is what I came up with I'm carrying a a Boker Stockman in here. This is somewhere between a case medium and large Stockman. So this is the slip that I came up with. If we put it over the Jack Wolf slip, you can see it's the same height, it's the same width, and it's got the same rounded top. The difference is the bottom is squared off. Instead of being stitched on the bottom, it's folded over and stitched on each side. Whereas this one has that U-shaped stitch. So let's see what happens if we take this trapper that wouldn't fit in those other ones and we put it in here. Look at that. It's completely concealed. And this is quite a bit smaller. It's more elegant, I think, than these ones. I really like this design. And I tried to keep it as flat as possible on the bottom. I only did a slight round on the corners and I stopped the stitching short so that this could collapse and fatten up so the knife will go all the way to the bottom of the slip. Now a large stockman is a little thicker but even a large stockman will finish flush in this slip and with these flaps you can get your fingers in here to pull something out like this that fits really tight. The trapper no problem at all with a little bit of extra room to spare. So overall, this seems to be the best size slip to me. It's small, captures some of that elegance that I liked about the Jack Wolf slip, but yet it still holds a large knife quite easily. Holds a large knife a lot better than any slip that has stitching across the bottom. So this is what I've come up with, and this is what I, I really like. And I'm going to make a few more of these. I'm going to make one that's a little bit wider, that's probably the same width as this one. So I can have one medium size, large size. Then I'll make one that may be just a hair wider, maybe the same width as this, and a little taller. And that'll be an extra large. While I was making slips over the weekend and playing around, I did make one more. If you looked at my last Thankful Thursday video, which wasn't on the Thursday, I think it aired on the Monday, you'll see I had this knife, and this was from Byron Kennedy. I wanted to make a slip that I could put this knife in. So this is what I came up with. It's the same, same design as this one, but just, just a hair wider. It has the angled top of this one. Actually, I think it matches up with this one perfectly. Yeah, so this is what I would call a large. And I wanted to keep with the same theme. Now, I dyed the whole thing black before I did the coloring. So as this wears through, it should expose black underneath. As you can see, I did blue and red thread. So if I put this in here, there we go. So tell me what you guys think of that. I'm, I ordered a clear coat. I'm thinking about putting a clear coat over top of this. 
I don't want the colors to get dingy, but at the same time, I want it to wear through and expose the black underneath as it gets its own patina. So this was just hand painted on here. Um, it is special leather paint. And it may be a little bit rough. It's not perfectly smooth on the lines here. All I had laying around, I do all kinds of different different work, whether it's carpentry work, electrical work, plumbing work. So I always keep a torch and plenty of solder and fittings on hand in case I have to do anything. And one of the things that you use in plumbing when you're soldering is flux brushes. And they're real cheap. You can buy a pack of 50 for just a few dollars. They're, they're really cheap, but they're low quality. They're for putting flux on pipes. So when you heat it up, it's it kind of acts like a cleaner. So when you put the two pipes together, you get a good solder joint. So I used a couple of the flux brushes on this. I need to get a couple of good um, small art brushes in order to do this and have, have cleaner lines on here. But this is my first attempt at it. This is an experiment. I want to try the clear coat and I may, I may try one without a clear coat on it and see what the difference is and see how they wear and, and see what kind of a patina the leather develops in time. So let me know what you guys think. I, I may get a try and find an eagle stamp. I have an American flag stamp, which I should have put on here. But like I said, this is a prototype. This is just an experiment. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these two new slips and of this style. Staying pretty flat across the bottom with very small cutouts. Stopping the stitches short so that your knife can go all the way to the bottom. It lets a smaller slip hold a larger knife. We'll see you on the next one.